I'm Yuta Saito, Director of Endoscopy Division, National Cancer Center Hospital, Tokyo, Japan. Today, we are pleased to introduce our original article entitled A Pilot Study of a Novel Endoscopic Hand Suturing Technique for Defect Closure After Correctal Endoscopic Submucosal Dissection. First of all, I'd like to invite the first author of this paper, Dr. Seicho Abe. Uh, Dr. Abe, please tell us the background and how you came up with the idea of this study. Thank you so much, Dr. Saito. Um, ESD is a minimally invasive treatment option for colectal neoplasm with a risk of lymph node metastasis. Several studies showed excellent short and long term outcomes of colectal ESD. However, one of the clinical issues was post ESD bleeding and tear perforation. Although the, it does not commonly occur, it may require prolonged hospitalization as well as emergency endoscopy for hemostasis and closure. Prophylactic defect closure technique is one of the great options for the prevention of post ESD bleeding and tear perforation. However, there is no, currently no standardized approach, particularly for an extensive mucosal defect. Recently, one of our co-author, Dr. Goto, developed an endoscopic hand suturing EHL to close the last mucosal defect after ESD using a prototype through the scope needle holder and absorbable perfect suture. The former pilot study demonstrated technical feasibility and sustained closure of the mucosal defect after gastric ESD. Thus, we applied this technique to the defect closure after colorectal ESD and conducted a pilot study uh, to assess the technical feasibility of EHS and um, availability of sustained defect closure after colorectal ESD. Okay, how were the results of this study? Yes, a total of 11 regions were included in the study. Five of them were located in the rectum and six were right side column. Median size of the mucosal defect was 38 mm. EHS was not attempted in two patients owing to the technical difficulty in colonoscopy reinsertion after ESD and interoperative perforation, respectively. So, my EHS was performed for nine regions. The mucosal limb of the defect was sequentially sutured from side to side in zigzag fashion. The complete EHS closure rate was 73%, and median procedure time for suturing was almost one hour, 56 minutes. We scheduled to perform second look endoscopy on day 3 or 4 after ESD to observe the EHS site. The sustained closure rate during second look endoscopy and the bleeding rate were 64% and 9% respectively. Our study concluded that EHS could achieve complete and sustained defect closure even in the colectum. However, it is not currently feasible in the routine clinical practice uh, given the long procedure time. Further modification in device and technique are necessary to shorten the procedure time and overcome the technical challenges. Mm. Thank you, Dr. Abe. Uh, we believe that the EHS technique will be beneficial to prevent post ESD bleeding as well as uh, delayed perforation after some modification. We are going to conduct further multi center pivotal study trying to obtain medical reimbursement in Japan in the future. Uh, thank you so much.